Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Lace is here. 61 and feeling fabulous. Traveling in Mexico and living my best life. And so can you. In today's video, friends, we are going to be talking about 10 reasons why I love living in Mexico. Are you ready? Let's get started. Reason number one. Mexico is very affordable. The healthcare system is great here and services like uh, home care and travel are equally cheap compared to other countries around the world. If you have a residency, you are eligible for a medical insurance. And I give you an example. For a family of four or five people, your insurance would cost you about 700 US dollars a year. It's very cheap. And I want to repeat one more time that medical service is great here. If you're earning in dollars or the euro, the exchange rate difference uh, enable you to buy a lot of things at a fraction of the actual cost. Reason number two, the food is delicious. Mexican cuisine is definitely a huge attraction for many foreigners. The extraordinary spices and variety of wholesome ingredients pack a whole punch of flavor in every dish. As a matter of fact, yesterday my Mexican friend was teaching me how to make mole. Mole is a sauce. She was using her grandmother's recipe and it took us two hours to make it and the sauce has 25 ingredients in it. But that is why it's so delicious. Organic food is abundant and easily accessible all around the country. You don't have to pay a small fortune to replace processed food with a healthy meal. Good climate! Climate of Puerto Vallarta is tropical, warm all year round, with dry, less hot period from November till April, and my game, yeah, rainy season from May till October. The average temperature of the coldest month, January, is of 21, 22 degrees Celsius or 72 Fahrenheit. Uh, that of the warmest month, August, is 28, 29 degrees Celsius or 82 in Fahrenheit. Reason number four, culture and history. Mexicans are very proud of their country and their heritage. Mexicans' rich and vibrant culture blends several um, indigenous populations with the Mexican people and it's all flavored by a huge Spanish influence. Spanish architecture blends with ancient Maya and Aztec. When you travel in big cities like Mexico City, uh, Guadalajara, Acapulco, you will see how the streets will display many different kinds of traditional attire and architecture. It's just absolutely beautiful. Reason number five, one of my favorites, learning Spanish. Moving to Mexico is a great way to learn Spanish. It is only about 10% of the population speak English fluently. So it is an excellent immersive environment for learning. And this mix is great for beginners and intermediate learners. Locals appreciate very much when foreigners speak their native language. And it doesn't matter how much language you speak, they always compliment you by saying, hablas español bastante, which means you speak Spanish a lot. And it makes me feel so good. Reason number six, the tax advantage. Mexico has a very convenient tax system, uh, making it incredibly easy for people to buy property in the country and run a business as a resident. The Mexican tax system looks something like this. 10% tax on dividends, no capital duty, no payroll taxes, transfer taxes of 2 to 5%, no stamp duties, 
Non-residents are taxed only on the income derived in Mexico. No capital acquisition tax. Reason number seven, real estate options and opportunities. One thing I really love about Mexico is real estate markets in the country. And today, friends, I have a special guest who is an expert in this category. Please meet my daughter, Elena. Hi, everyone. My name is Elena and I am Larissa's daughter. And I am also lucky to call Puerto Vallarta, Mexico home for quite a while now. And in that time, we have been looking for investment opportunities in beautiful Puerto Vallarta. My background is real estate. I was a real estate agent for over eight years in Vancouver, Canada, and real estate investor in Vancouver, Canada as well for over 15 years. And now we've shifted the gears and we are in Puerto Vallarta looking for some better priced opportunities than what we had in Vancouver. And my thoughts on real estate here are that Puerto Vallarta is a little bit more pricey compared to some other parts of Mexico, but we have the beach, the sun, the tourism, the cash flow or ROI for rental properties is amazing. Um, six months out of the year, November to April, um, your Airbnb rental is booked pretty much solid. And there has been a lot of growth with migration happening. Um, a lot of people are coming to Mexico for many different reasons we're not gonna touch on right now, but um, so there is definitely potential there and uh, we love to uh, look for opportunities here and invest because in my opinion, it is actually helping the economy, it's helping the community and we want to spend our money somewhere where it will be treated well and appreciated and for that reason, I am very, very bullish on real estate in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Of course, nobody knows what the future holds, but those are my thoughts investment-wise or to live here part-time. There are some great opportunities to be had. There are many different areas to choose from depending on your likes or dislikes. And if you want more information on that, I'm going to link my channel uh, because I also have a YouTube channel in the description below so you can check it out. If you're looking for a property, you may find some useful information there. Thank you so much and now back to Larissa. Reason number eight, there is always something to celebrate. There is never a month without celebration or a holiday. In January, we have Los Reyes. In February, Valentine's Day. In March, one day we celebrate our president and uh, there are spring parades around. In April, we have two weeks celebration. One week is Semana Santa and the next week we celebrate Easter. In May, we have Mother's Day, Teacher's Day, Labor Day, and a little bit of Cinco de Mayo. In June, July, and August, there is a lot of festivities for a local patron saints in my town. In September, we have Independence Day. In October and November, Halloween overlaps with the Day of the Dead. Finally, in December, we start partying celebrating 12 days of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And don't stop until January 6 rolls around. So friends, you don't get bored around here. Reason number nine, infrastructure. The infrastructure is good. The nationwide uh, highway system is excellent here and there are international airports throughout the country that offer flights all around the world and especially to the US and Canada because there are many tourists come to visit from those countries. So you have multiple ways of getting back and forth from your home country. When you come to Mexico, you are going to, to find uh, stores and brands uh, like in the US and Canada. Things like Office Depot, Home Depot, Walmart, Costco, and Sam's Club. While you have an option to shop at a big box store, you still can go to the weekly farmer's market and get all the vegetables you need for the week. Reason number 10. 
relaxed lifestyle. Layback lifestyles are the norm in Mexico. In fact, it's almost mandatory. Local businesses often closed for a couple of hours in the afternoon during the heat of the day. And just because you're in a hurry doesn't mean you can hurry the culture. I finally got it after living here for one year. Mexico teaches patience. And also I think sun and ocean makes the lifestyle more relaxed. And now friends, if you like my video and if you think the information I was sharing with you was helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao, until the next time.